Hi, this is Rich Coles from Productive Project Solutions. The purpose of this video is to show you how you can pull specific data from your latest entry on one sheet into another sheet. It can be used in a variety of functions, including a CRM solution that I'm going to demonstrate here. So let's have a look, starting with a simple one and then going more complex. So in this first scenario, I've got a dashboard here that pulls data and I want it to show the data for a specific month here. And in this case, so this enables me to change that month by selecting a choice from the drop down here and submitting it. Now, the way it pulls that data through is I'm telling it to pull through the latest entry that's been submitted. And that's what I'm here to show you about today because I've done a previous demo on this dashboard elsewhere. So what's happened in this case? So if you can see here, it's just actually updated because I've made a submission on that form which is embedded in the dashboard. And on this form, what it's done is it's entered the date when I have made the selection. So this is the created column and it's saying when was that created? Just now. And the choice was September. So what this is doing is it's coming back and saying, giving a one value to that. That then enables me to use a separate sheet to look and find the item that is one and get the dashboard to reference the data from September to put it onto the dashboard. So let's just have a pick and look um, at what I've got here. So the formula in this case is it's a max formula and it's saying if the date created is the most recent date, then return a value of one, otherwise return a value of zero. So if I just break this down a bit, I'm gonna just show you the max formula on its own here. So I'm gonna copy that and if I just put into the this one here, I'm just going to put the latest date and I'm going to put equals max. So the max formula is simply that and you're saying you're asking it to look at a series of dates. So if I put these series of dates in here, it will find me the latest date in that selection. If I want it to reference the whole column, I just turn it into a column range. So I get rid of the numbers and then it looks always looks at the whole column. And it's say, still saying that the eighth is the latest version. Now, if I delete these items out, it will default to the oldest one. Now, again, max, min. If I turn it around to be the min, that is actually the oldest one. So let's just see what happens here. If I enter min, and it's the 16th of the 9th, 21. So scroll up to the top, and you can see 16th and 9th, 21 is a min. So min, max. In essence, that's how that works. So in terms of, if I take this formula, which I've now got here, what I'm going to do is for the for the this column here, I'm going to say if equals if the data in this row is equal to, then I'm going to add in the max formula. Then I want it to say in this case, I'm just going to say latest. Otherwise, I'm going to say leave it blank. So enter that and you can see that it has brought back the latest. But again, <laughs> the reason why that's not worked is because I've still left it with a min formula. So let's just go and correct that one from being min to max. And here we go. And enter. And now that's the latest one. Now if I take this one up, you can see that's not working. If I take this formula and go back to being the min formula, which is not what this demo is about, but if I go back to main, min, if I go back to min and do that bit, clearly it's not going to do that piece. But if I copy that formula and put it into the ones at the top of the sheet, let's just see what happens here. You can see then that that has kind of brought me about the latest. So on this side, this is how you can bring back that latest item. So it's just always going to show you on the sheet which was the latest entry either by the date or here you can have if we go back to max it's going to say latest or in the case of the scenario which I had before I'm going to turn that into being a one so if I pull one I'm going to get that that's what comes back and if I turn this column now into say a checkbox then what it will do is it will tick and show you what the latest item is on that sheet so that's kind of getting started with the max formula to then help you pull back that item. If I go to the next scenario, this is for a CRM system. And again, this is 
dummy data. This is just a, a, a demo on this bit. So what I've got in this scenario is my CRM master, where I've got a list of all the various contacts, etc., that I'm, I'm keeping. And what it's doing is it's pulling back the time, sorry, the latest notes for when that person was contacted. And this can be used by multiple people. And what it's saying is ultimately when that last person was contacted, what was that piece? So everyone can reference that information. How's this working? So it's working by looking at the date of the last contact in this master sheet. This information, well, if I just show you what the formula is here, so edit column formula, what it's doing is it's doing a max formula again, and it's going to collect the date of the last contact. So it's saying, looking at another sheet and saying, what's the date of the last contact? And it's getting it, most importantly in this case now, to look at the name of that person on the other sheet. So where's this data coming from? Let's just dive in a bit more to, to this record. So what I'm just going to quickly do is show you the contact record sheet. So this is a sheet where all the entries go in of any contact that's been had with someone. And again, this can be done simply using a form contact record. And this is where it is. Take a new contact. So just close it down. So this is the kind of the contact record that could be used in this scenario. So each time there's a, a contact, then it goes in and tick of new contact, etc. That's recorded and the date again, um, I leave that as a manual on this case because in case someone's filling out the day after rather than instantly on this bit, obviously clearly you can have this as automatic on the basis you're assuming that it'll be filled out on the time of the contact. So you're just going back to the sheet, this that record then comes into this sheet here and what it does is it then pull it then records the date that has been recorded on the form here. So what's the date of the last contact? There's the date of the last contact, so the 3rd of October in that case. So there might have been multiple contacts with this person and what it's gonna do in the other sheet, therefore, is look. And what it's able to do is say, how many times has that person been contacted? But more importantly, what I'm trying to do here is to say, tell me the date that person was last contacted. So using the max formula is gonna pull back the the maximum date and it's going find so in this case it's the max formula is actually has a collect embedded in there in the collect formula what it's saying is what is the date of the last contact so the range it's looking for is the date of the last contact in the sheet i showed you if i come back out of there so cancel if i go back into the formula what it's doing is it's looking for that date of the contact and then it's saying and then look at that, bring me back that date of the last contact when you find the corresponding name with the name that is at the row. So in this case, it's looking at the reference sheet and saying, find Alessia Roots in the other sheet. And when you find her name, find the most recent date of last contact in that sheet. So it pulls back the latest date now, by having this latest date information, I can then create the latest contact notes. So in this case, again, I'm gonna to convert to here so I can go in multiple times. So in this case now, what I've got is I've got a index collect formula. And what this enables me to do is look at multiple criteria and pull back the result from multiple criteria. So if I just break this down on the index collect side of things, what it's now doing in this particular formula is it's saying bring back the last contact notes. So if I just go back to the edit reference here, the last contact notes and the indexing is bringing back the information of the last contact notes. And if I just cancel out of there, bring back the last information on the basis that it finds the contact name in that sheet. So the contact name at row and the contact name, which is the range in the sheet we're just looking at. And then the date of the last contact. So it's gonna go back again, look at the sheet and say, looking at the date of the contact in this sheet, and it's gonna say, well, what was the date of the last contact? And in this case, it's purely referencing this sheet where you've already pulled the result using the max formula. So again, what's really useful in this case is you're able to pull the data from a particular date entry and so as soon as there's another contact um, on this piece then it works on that basis so as a quick run through on this bit i'm just going to choose alessia 
and I'm going to go to the contact record. In fact, let's just go to Alessio Roots and date of contact. I'm going to put in the date today, today's date, and um, good call just now. Um, we'll speak on Monday. Okay. Contact made received, so contact made, contact medium. Well, that was, uh, we spoke on the phone in this case and um, follow up in two days time. So I'm gonna submit that. This data is now gonna go through into the sheet. So if I just go back to the contact record, so I'm gonna refresh, you can see that entry for Alessia has just been entered here. And the last contact detail is here. Follow up in the next two days, etc. Let's just go back to the CRM master on this case. And what we'll see is busy when we spoke. If I now refresh this bit, what's gonna happen here? So if I press save, and you can see that that has just pulled through the data I've just entered. Now the, the contact count has gone up to three, it was two. And let's just do the highlight changes here. So since I last um, view the sheet, actually, okay, because I saved it, it refreshed it, it's um, not showing. So let me just do um, on that side. So that's pulled through the latest data. Again, really useful if you want to pull things through for a multitude of reasons. So slightly more in-depth, complex view, but uh, there are other videos in terms of on index collect um, that I'll do. Um, really just want to give you a sense of a, a scenario on how you can pull specific data from your latest entry from a simple to complex way into another sheet. Trust that's been useful. If you've got any questions, give me a shout. It's Rick Coles from Productive Project Solutions. Thank you.